a wonderful fruity and sherry Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a German whiskey here on my cask and it's from the northern part of Bavaria, Franconia, Lower Franconia and uh, it's produced by a, well, an Eau de Vie distillery uh, called Ziegler and uh, the name is uh, from Latin, it's Aureum. And uh, it's 43% ABV, it's uncolored, and uh, it carries an age statement on the label, five years old. And I had already an aureum a few years ago, and then it has the legal minimum of three years, and it was really expensive. And today, well, it's cheaper, and the age has risen. Wonderful. That's right. And uh, to, well, to increase the sales of this whiskey, they added an accessory, uh, a key ring. No, not a ring, but a, a steel rope. Uh, and on this steel rope here on the, on the lock is God Ziegler. Here you can see it. Wonderful small accessory. And this marketing gimmick uh, has two meanings, two reasons why you add it. First, ooh, there's something more in this package. I'm getting something for free. That's the first one. The second one is people will use it. And then they very often have a view on this uh, accessory and are reading the Ziegler, uh, which is, well, popular for their ODVs, but probably not for their whiskey, the Aureum. So I would have chosen to have a Ziegler on front and an Aureum on the back. Well, marketeers are not always that straightforward. <clears throat> um, it's a small establishment. Well, they are established in 1865. They are as old as the Scottish whiskey distilleries are, but they produced ODV. And, uh, and here you can see it's a small company because uh, this label is added on the card box and you can read something through. There have been something behind that and there's a, a, a yellow spot here from the old. Uh, <clears throat> so they reuse this box. Uh, not wrong, why not? So adding label saving some money and protecting the environment. So this one is, isn't colored, it's original color and plastic cork, which I personally feel good because no plastic cork at all had ever had an own taste, never. <clears throat> but they, uh, they lock the, or stop the uh, the opening of a whiskey bottle very very effect effective and there's nothing uh, <clears throat> of breathing of the bottle and no alcohol vapors are evaporating so a plastic cork is a good thing there's no TCA in it which smells weird and awful I'm sorry <coughs> so a plastic cork is not the worst probably it's the best yeah, but plastic it's no natural, so you have to be na has to be natural. But one out of a thousand might be bad. That's the problem. <sighs> a wonderful fruity and sherry, bloomy honey note, and behind there's some vanilla coming up, carrying all those aromas and caramel as well. And this whiskey was first matured in chestnut casks, as well as fresh French oak casks. They were lightly charred, so they bring some additional aromas in 
whiskey. And then they were finished in ex-bourbon casks and ex-sherry casks. So this is <clears throat> quite a lot for five years. Now there's some alcohol on your tongue, carrying the aroma and sweet, silky fruit and again vanilla and very smooth oak. I'm looking for the French limousin casks, which have typically a quite intense, strong note, but not much. Yeah. Things improve in Germany in the whiskey production. Well, you need some trial and error, but in the whiskey business, trial and error is quite a long <coughs> process. Mature for three years, look after the whiskey. Mm. What's the reason? Try something different. Mm. Not better again. And so on and so on. And after several iterations, then it's, it's becoming better. And this one is, well, older, cheaper, better. Yeah, the continent is catching up. <laughs> Old Europe. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. There's more to come, stay tuned. And if you would like to discuss this bottle with me, please do so in our vlog on whiskey.com. <laughs>